Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the search at 2D matrix problem. It says, write an efficient algorithm that searches for a value in an n by n matrix. This matrix has the following properties. Integers in each row are sorted from left to right. The first integer of each row is greater than the last integer of the previous row. So for example, here, they give you this matrix, so as you can see, the integers in each row are sorted from left to right, so this is sorted from left to right. And the first integer of each row is greater than the last integer of the previous row, so the 10 is bigger than the 7, and the 23 is bigger than the 20. So they give you a target to search, in this case, you return 3. You return true because the 3 is there, the target is 3 and it is there, so it returns true. In this case, they want you to find 13, it is not there, so the method returns false. So how can we solve this problem? Whenever we see that this matrix is sorted in this manner, we have to think about binary search, because we want to take advantage of the property that the matrix is sorted. So if it is sorted, we can use binary search to obtain logarithmic time complexity big O of log n. So in this case we have to use binary search to get an efficient algorithm, an optimal algorithm, but it is a 2D matrix. So what we need to do is that we need to treat this matrix as a one-dimensional array. And how can we do that? Well the key is that we have to convert uh, the coordinate. And how, we can, how can we convert the coordinate from a two-dimensional array to a one-dimensional array? Well, the element of position i in a two-dimensional array corresponds to the element um, a position i, divi um, i divided by the number of columns, that's for the row, and i modulo the number of columns, that's for the column. And by using this formula, we can convert the element in a two-dimensional array to the corresponding index in a one-dimensional array. And the time complexity of this algorithm will be log of m times n, where m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to make sure that the reference is not null. So if matrix equals equals null, or matrix that length equals equals zero or matrix sub zero that length equals equals zero return false so if the reference is null or there are no rows or there are no columns return false okay now what I need to do is I'm gonna have integer m that's the value of matrix dot length for the number of rows integer n that's the value of matrix sub zero dot length for the number of columns and I also want to have um, two two pointers or two indices so left and right because I'm going to use binary search I want to have left at the beginning of the 2D matrix, but remember that we are treating this 2D matrix as a one-dimensional array, so we can say at the beginning of the one-dimensional array. So int left gets a value of zero, that's going to be at the beginning of the array, and right is going to be at the end, at the last element of the array. And how do I find the last element of this array if we treat it as a one-dimensional array? It's going to be a position m times n minus 1. And then we apply the binary search that we know and love. So we say while left is less than or equal to right, we have this loop. As long as we have one element, that could be the element that we are looking for. So we have left is less than or equal to right. First, we find the middle element, the middle index. So we say integer mid is a value of left plus right minus left divided by 2. This formula gives me the middle index. I could also say 
left plus right divided by two, but as I explained in a previous video of binary search, this is not the best way to do it because it could lead to overflow. But this way, the way I'm, this way here, is better because it handles overflow. It avoids that overflow condition if the two numbers are large, are too large. So then, I want to check if matrix sub mid divided by n sub mid modulo n equals equals the number I'm looking for, which is the target, I'm done. I found what I'm looking for, so I return true, it is there. And notice that, as I said, this is the formula that you, that you use to find the corresponding index in a one-dimensional array. So this is coordinate conversion. We are converting from 2D array to 1D array. You can actually do some examples on your own to find out that this formula works, that this conversion from 2D array to 1D array works properly. Okay, so now, if we find the element at the corresponding position, this is binary search, we're done. We found the element, we return true. Then, else if matrix submit divided by n submit modulo n is less than the number I'm looking for, what does that mean? It means that the number at the middle is less than the target. So the target cannot be on the left and it cannot be the middle element. So the target that I'm looking for cannot be any number on the left and it cannot be the middle element. So I can discard the entire left part and the, then the middle element itself. How do I discard it? Well, I can set left gets a value of me plus one because target has to be to the right. So now I'm reducing my search space by half. And then else if it if it was not equal and if it was if it was not equal to the target and if it was not to the left that means that it can only be um it, it was not to the right it means that it can only be to the left so i say right gets a value of me minus one because in this condition you know that matrix of me divided by n sub me modulo n is greater than the target. This is this condition here. Because it is greater than the target, that means that the target can only be to the left. It cannot be the middle element and it cannot be to the right. So um, I have to set the right to mid minus one because I want to discard the right part. Okay, so actually here, if I was able to get out of the while loop I get here so I want to return false because I was not able to find the element that means that I broke out of the loop and it was not able to find the element so I return false so I'm gonna run the code it seems to be working fine I'm gonna submit a solution Okay, 5 milliseconds faster than 73.46% of Java Online submissions for search at 2D matrix. As I said, the time complexity is big O of log of m times n. Big O log of m times n. So it's logarithmic because we're using binary search. So please press the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.